So that fine polish, what it did, I enhanced the paint. This paint is looking a million times better, as you can see. I'm pretty sure any person with a black car would be a thousand percent satisfied because look how rich this is looking. Look how wet and black. You can see, the, look at the reflection. Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. It's Andres and Angel here with a and Deluxe Detail of Los Angeles, California. And in today's video, we are gonna be going over on how to clean, polish, and protect your vehicle and how to save money on your investment. Cause you know, we all work hard on spending a lot of money on our vehicles, whether it's 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. So keep, we're gonna teach you how to keep that value up just in case if you ever wanna sell it or just protect your car, man. Maybe you wanna pass it down to your kids, your grandchildren. So let's get it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. You already know, let's get it. Yes, sir. So, Angel, what's that blue tape for? So we can show you guys the difference. Stay tuned. So what are we working with today? Here at a Deluxe Detail, we work with Rupes. This is the Mark III, it's very strong, cuts up to six RPM, very good for cutting. And when we have trouble covering the small areas, this is where we take out the big foot to handle all the little small crevices, you know, like right here by the window, for example. And the compounds that we use are also Rupes. We got the blue cut polishing compound and we got the fine polishing compound as well. In order to produce elite, top high quality work, you need the best tools in the detailing game. You cannot slag, you cannot be half-assed into investing into only a $100 buffer just because it's cheaper and it's better for your wallet. No, and here at a and we're all about the customers and we love you guys, all right? So bring all your cards to me, let's get it. Step one is to wash the car and remove that top layer of dirt. In this case, since we're in a shop, we hit it with the waterless wash. It's eco-friendly and easier when you're in a shop, less of a mess, so keeping things clean and professional. We just applied it, wiped it off with a towel, and this is the results of step one. And why is it important to remove that first layer of, of dirt? Because the next step, we are going to clay bar the vehicle, and it is a no, no, it's a big red flag if you clay bar the car while all the dirt is on top of the car because you're just going to be scratching it and damaging the paint instead of just smoothing it out. So what was that, Andres? Hey, brother, you know how they say in real life, guys, no glove, no love. <laughs> so here in the detailing game, it's very important to have gloves to protect your hand from all the chemicals and just to look more professional, you know? You don't want to be working with dirty hands. You don't want to be dirty in the car, touching it, all that. You know, do your work, get down to dirty, throw them away, put another pair on, do what you got to do. Let's go. There we go. So that's what's step two of this process and why is it important? Step two was the clay bar and it is very important to correctly clay bar the car. So when you, right now the next step, which would be a polish, you want to be able to use the compound and the clear coat of the paint. You don't want no dirt, no contaminant or any, yeah, like I said, paint, compound. So this, what did the clay bar remove? Or the clay bar removed all the contaminants that's embedded in the clear coat and in the pores. So they're all fresh and clean right now. And it's a very smooth finish, as you can see. It's not, there's no dirt, no bird poop, no sap. It's ready for polishing. So Andres, what was step three? Step three was the cutting compound. So we clean, we resurfaced the clear coat on the paint and it should be looking new. Let's check it out, let me take off. As you can see, the paint's looking brand new. So as a detailer, one of the most important process of polishing a car, which will be the cutting, when you resurface the clear coat. For example, as you can see here, it's looking pretty darn brand new, you say to me, and this is only one step. There's still a step four, which is a polishing. Uh, that one's just more for a fine finish. It's gonna en enhance the paint. So the paint looks like literally brand new off the lot. So Andres, can you tell us about step three? Step three, which is the polishing process of the detail. 
And in this case, we had to start off with the cutting compound just because the vehicle was damaged, had a lot of swirls and needed a lot of resurfacing. And now we are gonna go to the next step, which is the polishing part of the detail. So let's continue. And as you can see, the car is already looking pretty darn good with the, with the one step, but that two step just makes it that much better. So let's give it some love. Okay, so tell us about step four. I just finished the fine polish, bro, and are you ready to see this paint? Check it out, man. Look at that. So that fine polish, what it did, I enhanced the paint. This paint is looking a million times better, as you can see. I'm pretty sure any person with a black car would be a thousand percent satisfied because look how rich this is looking. Look how wet and black. You can see, the, look at the reflection. So step five, I'm gonna hit it with the wipeout surface cleaner. This is just to strip off all the polish, any compound that is on the paint. So, oh, and it's very important that you do this step because if you're gonna apply a ceramic coat like we are at right now, the ceramic coat needs to be applied directly on the clear coat. There can't be no polish, no wax, nothing, none of that to be applied correctly. Six. Yes, it's time to apply the ceramic coat. And the one that we are using right now is Chemical Guys. We are gonna use this Hydro Charge as a base ceramic coat. Then after applying the Hydro Charge, we are gonna come back three hours later and apply the Hydro Wax from Chemical Guys. So let's go ahead and begin with the Hydro Charge. First of all, you wanna make sure you have a new, if not a clean applicator. This is a brand new one. You wanna make sure it's evenly distributed around the sponge. And you want to hit it with the cross hatch action. Make sure you know, do it slow. Get every part of the car. You want to do it correctly. Now that I finished applying the base coat, you, it's recommended to wait one to two minutes if you're inside a shop and it's cool and there's shade. You don't wanna be outside applying this and you wait one or two minutes and then you just mess up the clear coat and leave it all hazy. You always wanna do it, and if you're in the sun, it's like 30 seconds, so make sure you're on it and it's a very important step. You don't wanna mess up someone's paint and make them unsatisfied. It's been about two minutes, so now it's time to wipe off the paint. I mean the ceramic coat, my bad. Do it nice and soft. So where are we at right now? It has been three hours that we have applied the hydro charge. Now it's time to finish this detail and apply the last sealant, which is the hydro wax. So it's basically the same steps as the hydro charge cross hatch pattern and let's get to it. So that's it, brother. I already finished applying the ceramic coating. And now, as you can see, the results can speak for themselves. Check it out. All right, guys. So when the 
steps that I have provided are applied correctly, you should be able to get this result on a black car. It's a mirror finish. The paint was enhanced and had ceramic coated, so it's super glossy, looking brand new, like if we just got a new paint job compared to look at this side of the car. It's all dusty and dirty, don't worry. I got a little cleaning spray so you can see, still see the imperfections. So check that out. Let me clean this thing. Get a better look. All right guys, now that all the steps were applied correctly and the hard work was put in, look at this right side of the hood. It's looking brand new, looking better than straight out of the dealer, man. When the cars come to A&A, look at this, bro. It's perfection, that's what we strive for. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the process. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We're gonna keep providing quality content like this and very helpful advice for the new detailers out there. Don't forget to follow our Instagram. Yeah, comment, let us know, man. We wanna talk to you guys, you know, whether it's helping us or helping you guys. And we'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.